Morzine is one of the towns in the massive Port de Soleil, a ski area that stretches across 13 resorts through France and Switzerland. Morzine was originally a small farming and mining town. The first lift to be installed here was the Plenty cable car in 1934, and since then the town has grown into a full resort, with all the trappings you'd expect, while still retaining its traditional French charm. Morzine sits in the Haute-Savoie region of France, just over an hour from Geneva Airport, making it one of the easiest resorts to reach from the UK. The town sits on either side of a valley, the sides of which are adorned with traditional styled wooden chalets with slate roofs. There are almost no high-rise buildings in Morzine, and this has helped the town keep its charm. There are some excellent hotels in Morzin like the farmhouse, but most of the accommodation is in self-contained independent chalets. In many cases, these are run by families who fell in love with Morzin and never wanted to leave, and they offer excellent facilities and service at a very competitive price. The centre of Morzin is the tourist office, and from here it's a short walk to the lifts on either side of the valley, that will take you up to either Morzin and Leger or Avorias and the further Port de Soleil. As Morzin is still a town rather than just a resort, it is possible to drive around. But for those without their own transport, there is a free bus service that starts and finishes at the foot of the Pliny and accesses the Prodan, Super Morzine and Ardon lift stations. Morzine also has some good shops. Most of them are here to service the skiers and snowboarders, but there are some shops offering shoes, jewellery and clothing, as well as gifts and souvenirs. For skiers and snowboarders, there are several big chain stores like Intersport where you can rent and buy equipment, as well as smaller independent stores like Slopestyle, Attack Attack and The Woods. Of course, no French town would be complete without a bakery, and there are several in Morzine, the most popular being the Bonbonnerie de Tervernier. Here you'll find local artisanal chocolates and excellent French pastries and cakes. The town also has some great bars and restaurants. Bar Robinson, or Robbo's as it's locally known, is a tiny French café bar with a legendarily strong beer, Mutzig. It's a must for any visitor, and always popular with the locals. For live sport, the Dixie Bar just next door has several huge screens and is always packed during the Six Nations rugby and big football matches. Up near the tourist office, the Cavern, Crepu and Tibetan Bar are always popular, especially on a Tuesday night when the chalet staff have their night off. For a more civilised affair, try Beanies for cocktails, the Coupe de Coeur wine bar on the high street or the hipster microbrewery Le Becjoin at the top of town. Another popular Apriski destination is the Tremplan at the foot of the Pliny. And between these bars and the late night venues like Opera and Café Show, Morzine has a great apriski and nightlife. But if fine food rather than beer and music is your idea of a night out, then you'll not be disappointed with Lagrange, Chaumade or Ferme de Fruitier restaurants. Morzine also has two cinemas and a swimming pool complex, as well as its own hockey team, the Penguins. Added to this are the options of paragliding, husky dog sledding and snowmobiling and it's a great winter destination, even for those who don't ski. Morzine is a very picturesque town. It feels like a traditional French town rather than a ski resort, but in the last few years it has installed new lifts and sports facilities and new bars and restaurants have become emerging meaning that it can hold its own against many of the big name resorts in the Alps. With its charm and quality, as well as its location, just an hour from the airport and in the middle of one of the biggest ski areas in the world, Morzine really is one of our favourite winter destinations.